Shalom, this is part two. So we're going to dive into the Renaissance. Because the Renaissance and iconoclasm go hand in hand. And is this is connected to um, Revelations, the 20th chapter as well. The Renaissance is a period in history and a cultural movement in Europe marking the transition from the Middle Ages to moder modernity. 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 Um, the Middle Ages they're talking about is when the Israelites was ruling. It generally covers the 15th and 16th centuries. It really started in the 14th century, all right? And it's characterized by an effort to revive and surpass ideas and achievements of classic antiquity associated with great social change. So basically, what they're saying, this is the, the revival of the Roman Empire. This is basically... What the Renaissance was. This right here. The school of Athens. It's probably some Edomite shit right there man. It's not. It's not no iconoclasm going on right there. To my understanding. The Renaissance is going into the revival of the Roman Empire because all the, the all the beliefs and everything that came from the Renaissance was from uh, from Rome. Let's type this in right here. Rome. Let's see. Perfect. The movement to recover, interpret, and assimilate the language, literature, learning, and values of ancient Greece and Rome. All right, so that's what the Renaissance was pretty much all about, man. The revival of uh, so-called, uh, well, Edomite supremacy at the time. They didn't even call themselves so-called white people at this time. They were still calling themselves uh, under under the names of uh, false, false names of the Franks right the british so on and so forth they're not the actual franks and british and anglo-saxons those were israelites but that's what they were calling themselves you see because they esau has to <clears throat> esau has to hide himself um let's go into that that covering cast this is isaiah 25 and 7 and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. So Esau weren't the original Greeks or Romans. Right? They took that to run away. That, that's that covering cast over Edom because they didn't want to be known as the Edomites because they know that the Edomites are the wicked and the Most High has judgment for them. Now let's go to Revelation 20 chapter, which is going to... The Renaissance, Revelations 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold, and that angel is Yahweh Shai. And he laid hold on a dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So the dark ages, all right, was a, a thousand years, which is what the Israelites ruling in Esau in captivity in, 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 in a low estate in hell. Up in the Caucasus Mountains and so on and so forth. That was a thousand years. They cast him in a bottomless pit and shut him up. And set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more. Till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that he must be loosed a little season. That's the Renaissance, man. Alright. So that loosed a little season is going into the Renaissance. And when the Israelites fell from, from rulership. Let's get this right here. Um... Jeremiah the 17th chapter in verse 4. And even thou, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So the Israelites would not know that they're Israelites. They would not be in the land. They would not have the scriptures, the law, statutes, commandments, etc., etc. They would not have the, the, the holy language. None of that. The Rakakwadash. None of that. 
the lot lot uh lot I can't pronounce it but the holy tongue is what I'm trying to pronounce Lasha Lasha Kwan Kwadash Salaki if I'm I know I'm butchering that and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not and that's what the Americas what people have forgot their heritage and went to a land under captivity all right that they don't know the Israelites man specifically the southern kingdom the northern kingdom was already over here and, and they fell under the curses too because they were what Israelites they were in the land that they, they, they didn't know until they came over here and guess what it was beat out of them being Israelites. And guess what? They were serving their enemies. Esau ate them. For ye have kindled a fire in mine. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Of course, the Heavenly Father is going to have mercy upon the children of Israel. Uh, let's get this in. And this is a cut. To you, uh, <laughs> to to you, hail doctrine, uh, bug outs, man. This is Romans eleven and twenty eleven and twenty six, and so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. And I believe that's in Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, that is referring to Romans eleven and twenty eight is a cut. All of Israel will be saved. So even the two thirds that are going to die on this side are going to be saved. There's not going to be no Israel Israelite left behind, man. There's not going to be an Israelite <coughs> left behind. Now let's go to Ezekiel. This is a part of the co covering cast of Esau. Ezekiel, excuse me, uh, thirty-six chapter and verse two. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because the enemy has said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in are ours in possession. And that's what you Edomites, man. Let's scroll down. Verse 5, therefore thus said the Lord Yahweh, surely in a fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for prey. And Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom. So the Edomites have possession uh, of the land of Israel, man. You see? So when, when you read uh, Ezekiel 36 and 2, Aha! Even the ancient high places are ours in possession. That's the Edomites. And not only did they take our land, they took the scriptures and our heritage as a whole. This is Ezekiel 35. Actually, let's go back to 36 real quick. Actually, no, let's, let's go to uh, 35. Ezekiel 35. Um, verse 15. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumia, even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Why? So what is that going into you? Edomites rejoiced at taking the heritage of the children of Israel, man. And having us in captivity. And masquerading as being the people of the Lord. 
to, to, to further your wickedness. And the whole world is starting to turn against you small hats. And you, and you Edomites as a whole. And it's not going to stop. It's going to keep going. And you Edomites are going to be a, a no people. You're going to become a, not even a no people. You're going to become who you really are as the Edomites. Because being the Edomites is essentially being a no people. Because as it is written, Esau is going to be exterminated from the earth. Because you're, you're the fucking, you're fucking devils, man. You're a nation of devils. The Most High is going to slay you Edomites for taking the heritage of the children of Israel for, for being wicked. The blaspheme. I mean, just all accounts. You're, you're guilty. Esau is guilty of everything in the scriptures, pretty much. Let's go to Revelation's third chapter. So as we, as we just read, Esau is is guilty of taking the heritage of the children of Israel. So what is this right here? Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. So who 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 is saying that who is the synagogue of Satan? In order to be the synagogue of Satan, you have to have power and authority on the earth because the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So the people... Who are ruling under Satan are also saying that they're the what? The Jews. So who 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 is that? There's only two people on planet Earth right now are calling themselves uh, Jews, man. All right. It's pretty obvious uh, what what the truth is, but uh, the people of the, of the world are, are are being hush hush about it. These these average uh, Joe Edomites, they're they're just fucking losers, man. And just point blank, period. The average. Edomite walking around is a fucking loser. All right, their, their lives suck. Right, Their women are, are, are harlots. Their, their children are brain rotted. They're just cooked. They're through. And they come on social media and just start yapping. Because <laughs> they're, they're mad that their kingdom is failing. Let's end this off in Joel, the third chapter. In verse 2. I will, I will also, I will also gather all nations and bring them down, down to the valley of Yahushapat, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations in part in my land. So this is what going to Esau Edom, as we just read. So this is an end time prophecy, uh, one of the few scriptures that proves that Esau is still around to this very day. So what what's gonna happen to these Edomites, man? You're gonna be your 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 iconoclasm, your renaissance is gonna fail you. And you're gonna go into captivity and you're gonna get exterminated because you're the wicked. The most high has a has a your has an end goal for everybody. Everybody has an end goal. And you Edomites have the worst end goal in the universe, man. <laughs> and that's it for this part two. I don't want to rock this off. It was edifying, shallow one.